Yo, what is up guys? It's Spev here and I am bringing you some Gears of War Judgment gameplay and a bit of an analysis uh, from my point of view on what I think of the new free-for-all gameplay that has recently been released. First off, just right off the bat, what I think is a really good positive thing is it looks like stopping power has been removed. As you can see, the car mine's like just rushing straight through the Lancer and it is not slowing him down at all. I kind of wanted to give a quick little demonstration. This is a Gears of War 1. And uh, you can see I'm hitting my shots really accurate, but at the same time, I'm downing him really fast, but he's not being slowed down. Unlike Gears of War 2, when they added stopping power into the game, you can see my character being, you know, struggling to roll and uh, really being slowed down by that Lancer that uh, was not in Gears of War 1 and hopefully not in Judgment. And as well in Gears of War 3, there's another example here, and you can definitely see the character, you know, put their arm up, they're kind of... Uh, definitely being really slowed down by being hit and that makes the game uh, a little bit slow and less competitive in my opinion so I'm glad to see that this is leaving um, next problem it appears that the mantle kick you are still able to kick them when they're not on cover I thought that a good fix to the mantle kick even though I don't like it in the game at all would to be to have to they would have to be on the cover touching the cover to be kicked that if you're away like that girl is right now, you should not be able to get kicked at all. So that's my opinion. Um, next thing, uh, you know, talking about uncompetitive and casual things like the mantle kick, Retro's back. You know, I'm not surprised there. Um, in this next clip, Pop and Dizzy's head, but I noticed something uh, interesting. There's a Nasher on the ground as a pickup weapon. Um, I'll, you notice on all this gameplay that uh, all the people are using like lancers like watch this you know like a little lancer fight I don't see a lot of shotguns, but it's a pickup weapon, so I'm not quite sure about that um, The next thing is it appears that everyone is has two grenades and you no longer have to switch it to a weapon to throw it You can just uh, I believe it's LB correct me if I'm wrong But you push LB in the controller and it just throws your grenade now. Here's a problem what in this scene I do don't, don't see a mortar like I don't know why they even showed the scene because the mortar is not special But watch this clip again. I'm about to show it in a minute and don't pay attention to the mortar Just look for all the the orange nades flying. There's one two three uh, Let's wait. Let's see if there's another there's four and I think there's a fifth one and here comes another grenade to the left down there so there's five grenades being thrown six I saw a sixth one within like 10 seconds that shouldn't be going down um, how do you guys like this sniper though I, I think it's pretty cool it appears to me that it is a two-shot kill if you don't hit him in the head and it's a one-shot kill if you do hit them in the head so um, I mean I don't think there should be so many bullets in this weapon and in this clip I see so many people having sniper rifles I hope everybody doesn't spawn with them. It should be a power weapon pickup, and one or two players max should have that weapon at all times. And I see like three or four beams going off here. Like, you know, it's like there's three or four people with sniper rifles and everything. Um, next part of this video, uh, here's a clip of Baird, kind of new armor. And you'll see, I, I forget the girl's name, but the new red haired girl, uh, let me know in the comments what her name is. She hops over like a double cover. Uh, which you've never been able to do before, so I'm not quite sure what I think about that. I don't think you should be able to hop over three. Um, that'll be interesting to see how that plays out, though. Um, this clip is uh, nothing really special or change at all. It's just boom shot. Um, however, in this clip, there are seven boom shots, and there's a blind fire ridicule. Um, I'm just willing to say that they picked up ammo, because I don't think that you would ever start with that much. And this clip is something that worries me. You see the character blind firing and mantle kicking and chain sign. I don't like the fact that you can blind fire a sniper rifle accurately. You know, um, see watch, you know, it has a blind fire ridicule and it's not, it's accurate. It's not like the long shot where uh, if you blind fire from that distance, you're almost guaranteed not to hit the shot. Then he gets a, a casual mantle kick and a casual chainsaw. Uh, that whole clip is casual, 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 if you ask me. Um, you know, you see easy blind fire accurate sniper rifle. That's a two shot kill an easy mantle kick, and an easy chainsaw. Um, so I'm hoping that they'll tone down that kind of stuff a little bit, but we'll see how it plays out. And then the, uh, I forget what you call this. I don't even know what to call it. But it's in campaigns, it's like a, I don't even know, some kind of crazy machine gun. That should not be a multiplayer, enough said. Um, I wanted you to take a listen at this clip, if you can hear. Um, I'll play it one more time. It kind of shows that the hammer burst is the same. A lot of people th thought that it was going to go back to burst fire. 
Um, uh, that's been a big rumor, and it looks in this clip that is the same in Gears of War 2 that was 3. Now, hold up. What is this? What's this, Cliffy? Come on, Cliff. Um, I posted on Twitter a while back, Cliffy B finally missed the sawed off was a terrible idea. Let the link tweeted him, and I said, at least, Cliff, you were finally honest with yourself. I got a bunch of retweets and a few favorites. Cliffy B, in an interview, in quotes, said, If I could go back in time, I would remove the sawed-off shotgun. Yes, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. Now, what am, what am I not getting with this picture? So, Cliffy B, admits it's a, a bad idea. Says so he could go back in time. Now we're going forward in time. He's making a mistake. Cliffy, stop and do the right thing, bro. Come on. Uh, Cliffy wasn't too happy with my tweet. I'm pretty sure that he blocked me after that. Uh, he doesn't like criticism. I mean, come on, though, Cliff. You're being a hypocrite now. You said you were going to do something, and now you're doing the opposite. But anyways, um, besides the fact that there's just a disgusting gun in the kill feed, I do kind of like the secret button and the little sniper room. That is kind of a cool feature. Um, as well as the maps, uh, I do like that feature, the little hidden room, but I'm not quite sure what I think about rooftops being on top of rooftops it kind of uh, seems that it's going to be a lot of lancering and maybe a little campy and i'm not sure what i think about that um that little you know the floating or the you know that little trellis or whatever whatever you want to call that thing the tram that's a better word for it like a little tram that kind of travels not sure what to think about a bunch of um, moving parts of the map but we will see how that turns out anyways i want to hear from you guys what do you think about this gameplay um you know, there's some good things, there's some bad things. What do you think? Leave me a comment. I'm really interested to know what you guys think. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm sure there'll be a bunch of more Judgment news soon. Anyways, guys, take it easy. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. See you.